Mark, many congratulations. I'm sure there's plenty of positives to take throughout the game, but overall, the three points that's a hugely important factor today. Yeah, I'm really pleased, Rich, because again, we've 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 had to losing Sam Baldock with a tweaker system, so we tried to flood the midfield and try and control the game that way. Certainly thought we I thought we were excellent at times at the start in the first half, and oh, they're a decent side. They came into it as well, but. Uh, you know, Lucas Rao having to do that lone, lone striker role, which is, is difficult. But um, no, I, I thought overall, I thought we deserved the result. Another clean sheet for us, and what a magnificent couple, more than a couple, he really says, by Raphael as well. Going into half time, probably a bit, bit disappointing not to be in the lead, but when that lead, when it came, was uh, pretty spectacular, wasn't it? Well, I said the guys at half time, I felt, I felt that if we could, uh, we could get a clean sheet, we were well within our capabilities to. And I used the phrase nick a goal. Well, I didn't think we were going to quite nick it in that fashion, but uh, you expect things like Adol Swifty, he's a, he's, a, he's a talented player, you know, and, and when he was injured for those weeks, we, we, we really missed him. And, you know, but all, I, you know, I hate singling out individuals because I, I really felt, you know, we had said to the guys before, the, you know, yesterday and, and building up to the game that we, we have players in our, in our squad, in our team that, you know, the likes of Charlie, Ovi, John Swift, that we could control games more, you know what I mean? And yes, as other times I've been about playing percentages, putting the right areas, playing the op opposition's half, but uh, delighted today the way our midfield controlled a lot of the game and also being an ex-defender, getting the clean sheet is special. Third on the bounce too and owed a little bit to Raphael, that save at the end in particular, but a couple and some off the line as well, Morrison getting one off the line. There's some good defending there too. Yeah, really putting their, their, their hearts on the line for, for the jersey, you know, and I was just about to have a go at Raphael because I thought he, he rushed to kick once and put us back under pressure and then just when I'm about to scream and have a go at him, he produces two or three saves which kept us kept us in the game and he, I say, he, he's, a, he's a special talent as a goalkeeper as well and we're lucky to have him. Just a word on the fans too, Boxing Day is not an easy one for fans, especially when it's the late kickoff. but the, the fans who were here were really determined to make this a, a proper atmosphere, weren't they? Oh, they, they? They've been great, you know, to, to two home games at this time of the year and they've, they've got to come out and spend their, their well-earned cash twi twice in a week, if you like. But um, again, it, it never ceases to amaze me that, that I, don't know, I don't know what the stadium will be like if ever I'm here and it's full, because certainly when, when it's, we're getting the, the vocal support from the ones who turn up, like, it's really special to me and the players, I know that. Mm. And of course, the more you keep winning games, the, I'm sure those crowds will continue to increase, and that's from your 12 games in charge. Six wins, three draws, 21 points on the board. You must be very happy with that as a return, because that's getting us going again. Yeah, you know, I've, I've got a good staff behind me, Eddie Nizveski and, and, and John, John O'Shea as well, but you know, I said that we put work into them, different work than they maybe had before, but it means nothing if the, the players haven't got the, the wherewithal and the ability to take on board information and, and, and take it onto the pitch, and they're certainly doing that as well, and confidence is growing as well, so um, I think we're, we're in a decent position, but listen, we've got some really tough games coming up over the next next week even, so we've got to make sure we recover well and, and we try and get as well prepared as we can for a really difficult game against Preston at the weekend. That's right, six points from these two games, but that now, you know, Preston then Fulham, obviously all eyes are on Preston and uh, yeah, they had a, a decent result against Leeds today, so um, plenty of plenty to, to, to do up there if you like. Yeah, yeah, and, it, and it's, uh, this time of year you don't get a lot of preparation time, it's about quick turnarounds, it's about recovery and it's about uh, the, the, maybe that fitness edge as well that we think we've got, but you know, we're always counting that Preston played a little bit earlier than us, they've got a little bit more recovery time, but... No, we, we will rest up, we will recover well and, and try and go up there and, and get something out of that game as well. Congratulations again.